Hey guys, what's up? This is Doc Six Millimeter, and I just received this in the mail today. This is a DS Arms ZM4 upper. Um, it's a nitride coated uh, chrome molly. Uh, I guess it's one of their types of coatings. I'm not real sure. Uh, A2 birdcage, uh, standard, uh, just an M4 profile barrel, uh, M4 hand guards with a heat shield. Uh, flat top, I did put a side on it real quick, but I thought I better get the camera out and start showing this thing. It does have the M4 style feed lips. Just another shot into the chamber. Um, so far, it looks good. Fit and finish looks okay. It's, it's kind of oily. I've had my hands all over it. The rail is marked. And it is chambered for 556 five, NATO, 1 and 9 twist. That is chrome molly. M4 profile barrel. Alright, through this DS arms on a DPMS lower, put the side on it, bolt in it, and uh, see what happens. Alright, here's our shots. Looks like uh, we're just a little low. Point of aim is about here, a little bit to the right. Alright, looking a little bit better. Looks like we're still a little low at 25 yards, but, but not too bad. All right, first impressions, DS Arms, ZM4 upper, uh, pretty good so far, it seemed to run okay. We threw a bolt, charging handle, lower and a side on it, a rear sight, and uh, it seems to be doing okay. Accuracy is acceptable, we're just kind of firing it get on some paper and we'll actually side it in so so far so good can't complain pretty sweet 275 DS arms that's pretty hard to beat they do have a mid-length available and if you want to do a was it a form one for a, a SBR a 11 and a half pretty sweet DS arms, hand loads.
Alright, so far so good with the DSA arms. We're going to try to shoot a little bit longer range iron sights, see how it goes. Pigs are at 300, turkeys are at 4, we're going to try to hit one of them. Maybe. Alright, we're going to try the pigs again. Iron sights. And we're gonna try some turkeys at 400 meters. Go for the one not on the stand, but the one on the right. Now let's go far left, not on the stand. I think I'm hitting the rail, I'm not sure. Initial impressions. DSA. ZM4. Not too bad. We're gonna try those turkeys again at 400. Maybe we'll go for that one on the right. Maybe I can hit it, I don't know. There we go, I think I got one, I heard a ping.
Oh, that's it. Not too good. I think I'm hitting rail. I'm hearing pinging. I'm not real, real sure where to aim. But one thing I do notice over the H-bar barrel is this thing definitely starts heating up a lot faster. I can feel the heat coming out of these holes, which I, I normally don't notice until I'm really running through some rounds on that H-bar. I think it, it is a warm day today, but I don't think it's as good for a lot of fire at one time. So far, I think it shoots good. I'm happy with it. It's a long ways for iron sights, and these are, uh, I'm using the big dot just because I like to, because that's where it's probably going to be set anyways, so. Seems to pile the brass pretty consistently in one spot. Results for DSA Arms Upper uh, with the M4 Profile Barrel. Um, we put a big 16-power uh, scope on this dude and this is our first shot group out of the rifle this was a first shot maybe a fouling shot I'm not sure um, that that was a first shot after we cleaned it after those few rounds the other day here's a 5.56 five, round for comparison not horrible um, we didn't sight the scope in we just put a scope on it I was sighted in for another 5.56 five, five, uh, this is our second five shot group uh, not the best I don't know what these two are about. Uh, it seemed to want to group up here. Um, then we went ahead and shot iron sights as you see it. And this is the group. Three here and one flyer away down there. It's not terrible. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I went ahead and shot uh, an H-bar DPMS uh, also with a little four power optic. And this is our group that we got with it. Uh, quite a bit smaller. I don't know. I was guessing I would say around an inch. Uh, means I don't have my tape measure with me. About an inch and a half, inch and three quarter on this one. Not counting that one, obviously. And this one's a little bigger, more like the three inch variety, I would guess. So, not bad. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I do notice it does heat up quite a bit faster than the heavier profile H bar barrel. Um, but it still does decent. We were giving it a little bit of time to cool off in between shots. Uh, was able to hit at 300, and uh, we got we got the turkeys pretty scared at 400. I don't know if we hit any, but iron sights. It's a tough proposition overall for the money. I think it's hard to beat this little this little upper. I mean, this is a low cost entry upper, and it seems to do okay. At least this example does. So, Doc 6 millimeter out. There we go. DS Arms. Tula. Okay. This one you going cardboard? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is it gonna be too close? Nah, okay. I don't think so. Ready? Ready. Bit. Yeah. We've been rocking that thing with the 22 all day today. <laughs> Look at that shot group, man. Which one? <laughs> that, that bottom group. Just. Oh, look at that furrow. <laughs> Rapid right. fire. <laughs> nice, dude. I like it. DS Arms, 275. 275 to your door? Yeah, well, I think they charge something. It's like 10 bucks or 13 bucks for shipping. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. No, no bolts, but 
Yep. Everything else runs good so far. Sweet.